the other aspect, obviously, is Graham's bringing in the the mounting board, which he's going to bring down. He's going to use for the sword folly. And uh, when when he brings when he bring a couple things, like one, the mounting board, it's made of uh, that wood, Roa. That same wood from the box. Yeah, and so okay. you're, we're talking about you know a piece of it the size of your thumb is worth gold and so he's got a mounting board of it so obviously this is extremely expensive and yeah, they talk about how far away he has to go to get it how difficult it is to work with correct yeah what's uh what i found uh really really interesting sort of following up that that part is they seem to layer uh subtly a lot of uh like mystique around the sword um, where Bast is even like, Hey, can I ask you a question? The hell were you thinking? Why are you, <laughs> why are you displaying or why are you even thinking about displaying this? Um, that was really interesting to me because they don't really even go into detail as to, uh, the story behind it, but there's a lot of weight, it seems behind the story of the sword. <laughs> that's, that's the big question. Cause like he hangs up the sword and, or, you know, he puts up the mounting board and then Bass comes down and it's like, what the fuck were you thinking, man? And we don't know what he had to do to get that sword. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't have a full picture on, did he steal it? Did he kill someone for it? Uh, is that the, you know, when in a handful of chapters when Chronicler's like, this is the face of a man who's killed an angel did he kill an angel for it did he kill cinder is it cinder sword like we we don't have a a good idea of whose sword it is but clearly he's either stole it from someone or killed someone for it and it seems like it's a, a very old sword and it seems like a sword that someone very powerful had wielded it before him it definitely seems like there's a lot of controversy behind it in some way, shape, or form, that seems that seems very clear just from the way they're talking about. It. I'm curious what, what what he did to get the sword, um, and I'm curious whose sword it is, because I'd like to judge it for myself whether he made the right decision or not. Bass seems to think that uh, it was a very questionable decision. Yeah, yeah I th- I think it got him notoriety from the way Bass talks about it. But I also love like when he when he when Bass comes down with the sword, he's just like swinging. And he's like, "Whoa, hey, dude!" Like, yeah, what's he say? That's, That's a, lady. a lady. Yeah, yeah. But like, it, it adds more mystique to it. So, like, dude, respect it, man. But yeah, it is. It, it's a really curious uh, little thing that he he throws to us, and then we don't get anything else about it. Right? I mean, it's, it's yeah. all. It's just yeah. it's there. It's clearly a big thing that's suggested early. And it feels like there's foreshadowing, and then we never get anything else about it. Yeah, the only uh, the only thing about uh, like a weird sword that we get for that we we get well, you know, swords. aspects of yeah. the the a dim swords are obviously weird because they seem to not be able to break or rust or anything. You know, nothing happens to those swords. They seem to stay in perfect condition. You know, for thousands of years. But then the other only mention of a sword that's weird is Cinder's sword. Yeah. So I'm curious whether it maybe could be Cinder's sword, maybe it could be, you know, an angel sword, or it, it seems What's like someone very sword? powerful sword. What? What does he say about Cinder's sword? Uh, I don't. I don't remember like um, off the top of my head, but it was like it was pale. It didn't show the firelight, things like that. Like I mean, there was just mentions of it where it seemed weird. It seemed strange, very similar to like this sword is described as something weird and something different, and the ADM swords are described as something different. I don't necessarily mean that this sword is Cinder Sword or this sword is an ADM sword. I'm just saying like. The three descriptions of swords where there's something different about them are all with swords that seem to be thousands of years old. So it makes me believe that this sword, whether it's Cinder's, whether it's an Adem sword, whether it's an Angel's, it, it seems like it came from a place from 
thousands of years ago that it's from someone very powerful. It doesn't seem like an or it's it's clearly not an ordinary sword. So it makes me believe that he either got it from someone like Cinder, someone in the Chandrian, someone, you know, from the Adem or or someone an angel or an Amir or someone like that. It seems like the sword is clearly extremely came from someone extremely powerful. Yeah, I think the only thing, the only description that they give at this point of his sword is that it's um, it's not marred up, it's not scratched up, and that uh, it looks like it's forged from the remnants of like a hundred swords or some something like that. Yeah, right? isn't that the only two? Isn't yeah. that the only two descriptions. Yeah, yeah, it's interesting to describe something as looking new yet thousands of years old. Right, like it's unmarred. There's no scratches. There's no rusting and nothing like that on it, but it's still obviously extraordinarily old, which is interesting, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, there's clearly, there's something to do with the sword. We just don't have enough information to pinpoint who it is, but it's 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 not going to be like, you know, fucking uh, Joe Schmo fucking had a sword and I fucking stole it from it's, him. He's found it's gonna, it's gonna be some, <laughs> some, someone it's important is going to have deal. the fucking store, the sword. That he gets it from. I think that's uh, that's baked into the cake at this point. 